Today I'm going to show you guys an app called HeartWatch, which is available for your Apple Watch and iPhone. What's really cool about this app is that it provides so much data and trend views that really anal help you analyze um, all the different heart rates you have throughout the day. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to use the app and some of the features. So if you haven't already subscribed, then look, please go ahead and subscribe down below. Let's get started. When you open up HeartWatch for the first time, the first thing that shows up is the vital screen. At the top bar, you see the previous week and your heart rate throughout the week. Um, you also see regular heartbeat, which explains a brief summary of your heartbeat. Going down shows you your heart rate throughout the day so far. It shows my average was 93, my minimum was 57, and maximum is 115. It shows you your elevated, your high resting, and your resting. It also shows you your walking heart rate, explains to you how it's calculated, and shows you a summary of that for the previous week. It also shows you a comparison between your previous week versus this week. Going down shows you sedentary heart rate. This also explains what that actually means. And it shows you a trend as well. It shows you your elevated, your high resting and resting. It shows you your sleeping heart rate, which is connected to auto sleep. It shows you your average, your minimum and your maximum, high resting and resting. Then it shows you your sleep recharge. And this is based on your nightly sleep requirement. Recharge looks at how restless you were doing the night and gives percentage as to how much of your nightly sleep requirement has been met. This can also be connected to auto sleep. As you can see, there's a button here that takes you to that app. This is the today view. If I wanna go and see other dates, you can go to the top left and press the calendar button and you'll see a trend of your entire month and more. You can change it to sedentary, min-max, waking, work out and sleep, recharge, recovery, which is from workouts, and more. So let's say I want to zoom in on that. You can go ahead and move the cursor around to see those months and days associated with those times. To go into deeper detail, I can go into it and it'll show you the summary for that entire day. So that is the vitals view. So now let's go into your dashboard. The dashboard is a really cool look. So it shows you your today view. It shows it in a speedometer look. And what's cool about it is it shows you your elevated. Over here, it'll show your low heart rate. It'll show your move, your exercise, your stand. Scrolling down brings up insights. It shows your forecast move goal. It says you need to move more, 47% of target by 10 p.m. Forecast stand goal. It says that 12 stand hours by 10 p.m. I'm on track which is really cool. So it shows you how you're doing based on the time you typically go to bed. Uh, it shows you vital statistics, your regular heartbeat, sedentary heartbeat, waking, sleeping, and sleep recharge. Info shows you more detail about what the dashboard actually is. Activities what we're currently on. Heartbeat shows your recharge, your sleep, your waking, your workout. This one shows your steps, so it shows your weight, your laps, your steps, and your move. And this one is really cool because it shows you an animated version of Tim Cook and as the day progresses, his body will change based off of that. So he'll look slimmer if he's getting a lot of movement in. So here you see the current view. If we go to last week, I got a lot of activity in. So as you can see, he's a superhero now. If I go to the previous week, he was just okay. March was a good month. And that's that, that's the gist of that. If I go into activity, it shows you a detailed view of your activity. It shows the amount of energy you've burned today. It gives you a good um, summary of how, well, how you act, calculate your move energy. It shows how much more calories to go, the distance you've walked. It shows you the steps to 2.09 p.m., which is the current time right now. It shows you the miles you've done. It shows you the goals. It shows you walking and running. It shows your speed, too what percentage you were going at. So 2.7 miles per hour was 29% of the day. 0.3 miles per hour was 38%. It shows you so much in this app. What's really cool about this is if you tap on one of those, it actually shows you even more detailed and how, many, how much feet you actually walked by distance. Any of these are tappable actions that show you really detailed summaries and views. So that was HeartWatch. HeartWatch is available on the App Store for a price. 
and I highly recommend it. I think it takes um, all the data that is being collected from your Apple Watch and really gives you a helpful view of what that data actually means. What I really like about this app too is that it explains to you what each of these data points mean as well. So this app is available on the App Store and I highly recommend it. Until next time guys.